Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another question dealing with the factor theorem. So the trinomial x squared minus 3x minus 4 is a factor of this polynomial 2x squared bracket x minus 6 plus mx plus n, and we have to find the m and the n value. Now notice in this case, there's two constants to solve for, so we're going to need two equations. But notice that we're only given one factor, x squared minus 3x minus 4. But if you notice, this factor is a quadratic, and then that quadratic you can actually factor. So x squared minus 3x minus 4, this actually factors into x minus 4, x plus 1. And so if this is a factor, of this, then it also means that this and that are factors of this. So for example, let's say we took 36. A factor of 36 is 12, right? If we divide this by 12, we end up with 3. Well, 12, notice that we can break that down into, for example, like 6 and 2 or for example, four and three. Well, if 12 is a factor of 36, then if we can break that down into factors, break down the factor, the large factor into smaller factors, well then these smaller factors are factors of that as well. Notice six is a factor of 36, two is a factor of 36, four is a factor of 36, three is a factor of 36. So same thing here, if this is a factor of this, then it means this and this are factors of that. And so that's pretty much the trick of the question. And then it becomes like a question we've done before. Here actually, this is given in a unique format. So let's just um, expand this like that. And then we got plus mx plus n. I'm going to actually let this be f of x, like that. So if x minus 4 is a factor of this, it means that if we take this and divide it by x minus 4, the remainder is going to be 0. And we know that the remainder is going to be f of 4 using the remainder theorem. So combining the remainder and the factor theorem, we know that f of 4 equals 0. Same thing here. If we divide by a factor, then the remainder is going to be 0. And then the remainder using the remainder theorem, if we divide a polynomial f of x by x plus 1, the remainder is going to be f of negative 1. And because it's a factor, the remainder is 0. And so these two expressions, we can create two equation. So we could plug in 4 for all the x values uh, m times 4 is just 4m plus n is equal to 0 and then we could plug in negative 1 for all the x values. Uh, negative 1 times n gives us minus m plus n and then that's going to equal zero, like that. And now we have two equations, two unknowns. We just have to simplify. So 4 to the power of 3 gives us 64 times 2 gives us 128. And then we have 4 to the power of 2, which is 16, multiplied by 12 would give us 192, plus 4m plus n is equal to zero. 128 minus 92 gives us negative 64. Okay, so just be careful with your algebra here. And then I'm actually going to keep all of the variables on one side, and then I'll keep the numbers on the other. So the negative 64 I'll bring over. You don't necessarily have to, but I'm going to put it in that format. And then over here, negative 1 to the power 3 is negative 1 times 2 gives us negative 2. Negative 1 to the power 2 gives us positive 1 times negative 12 gives us negative 12. Minus m plus n is equal to 0. This here ends up being negative 14. And then I'll, uh, I'll bring the negative 14 over. 
So it'll be positive 14, like that. And now we just simply have two equations, two unknowns. You could do substitution, you could do elimination. I'm going to, uh, I'll just isolate for this n value. So n would equal m plus 14 like that. And then this m plus 14, I'll plug in over here for that n value. So we would end up having 4m plus m plus 14 equals 64. This would be 5m, bring the 14 over. 64 minus 14 gives us 50. m would be 10. And then uh, m is 10. I feel like it's easiest to plug in there. So n would equal 10 plus 14, which would give us 24. Right, so that's the m, that's the n value. If you want to quickly check your solution, you could plug in 10 over here, and then you could plug in 24 over here, and then you could see if these two equations hold. Or you could even factor it and see if you get the factors, what were the factors we use, x minus 4, and then x plus 1. So multiple ways if you do have the time to check your solution.